Good afternoon. This is a fresh looking Jamesy, isn't it? Hey. And this is a fresh looking dad, I think. Um, it's a relaxing resort day. That's what we're doing. Sarah cooked some, some delicious looking dinner. And we're there, our work days are kind of ending now, a little later than expected. But I did get my haircut. Finally, and I feel human again. Baby, what you got on your head? Hi, White. Evie girl got her haircut today too. Haircut day. Haircut day. Also, here's a clip of my before. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. This cold start is because this is finally being taken care of. Yes, feel human again. Oh, feels so good. This is the latest. I don't know. This is, it's just real life. It's like, we're half on real life local, like fake local life, but then we're also half on like, there's a deadline. Like yeah. we're only here a certain amount so of time. So we're like in vacation mode at the same time, which I guess like is what we did before. Is this the best resort or is this the best resort? This is, in fact, undeniably the best resort. So there's many reasons why this is the best resort, but the lobby is probably the best, one of the top two reasons. And here is one of them that my son is gonna love. Look at that, him leaning over like, James, you see that? It's a geyser. So cool. It's a natural fountain. You love fountains. Let's bring them over the bridge. What the? This is one of my top five favorite stores in all Disney World, and I feel like Sarah and I are leaving with some merch today. Do you feel that? I feel it. I've never seen this bag before or this cute shirt. I didn't mention it on the vlog when it had happened, but when I was in Magic Kingdom with Just James, I lost his hat. Like, we walked into the Emporium I, at the end, like at the very end of our day. I knew he had it then because I adjusted it when we were talking to a cast member, and I remember. And then when we left, I didn't have it. What did you find? So we, we have to get him a new, a new Mickey hat. Does that look fun? He's completely too young, but he loves it. We need this. We need this. The Game of Life, Disney Parks Edition. It is our life. Take a photo with partner statue, spin again. Someone picked a finger, moves and spinning will receive 100,000 wishes from another player. <laughs> Wish cranking. Enjoy Hoop to Do Review, musical review. Uh, <laughs> leaving without a single purchase. The night's young. <laughs> One of our favorite things about Roaring Fork, the quick service here, is all the baked goods. This little cupcake is a campfire. So stinking cute. We got a magic cookie bar. There's brownies and cinnamon rolls and croissants and muffins. And a couple other cupcakes. In typical dad fashion, he got us two, two monsters. monsters. We were supposed to share it so all. Not share. And what I did is I did this. She was watching me take the can out, and I took them out sideways. <laughs> so one was behind the other, and then I threw it to my side while we got them on. I said, Sarah, can you go, can you get a shot of the baked goods for the vlog to get you away from me so I can buy two monsters? Yay! What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Wanna jump right in to the creek? Uh, to Copper Creek? He's got Peter's nervous toes. Hey. Our love for Bay Lake and Seven Seas Lagoon proves that we're lake people and not ocean people. 
We love it. We do. We do okay. Love the lake. We we just Lake Michigan. Bay lake. Yeah. We. <laughs> those are those are our, really our Lisa only. Lake. Oh oh. But I'm just saying, like, we didn't move to Florida and go to the beach every month, but we, we did. Moved to Florida and went to Disney World every day. <laughs> I turn around for two seconds and Sarah and Jamesy have ran all, all the way over. No movie tonight. Next movie is tomorrow, they said? Cheaper by the dozen? What'd they say? Ralph breaks the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> James has no shoes on. Dad has no shoes on. James, I feel like you just epitomized the Brookhart name with that reaction just now. Picks up a chocolate bar, a cookie bar, slowly looks up with the most excited face. Help you. I help you. James, wait until you go to the train room. There he goes. Can't stay still. You cannot stay still. James. Do you hear that noise? Uh oh. It just started. Thinking. Where's Daddy going? Oh, come on. Let's over to our zoom lens. Sarah loves when I do this because it sounds like gravel for the fireworks, but it's also needing to get rid of the, used to the humidity, so it better adjust quick. Who's ready for some fireworks? It's Jamesy. Yeah. Fireworks are just a few minutes away, and what we're gonna do is gonna watch them, and then we're gonna go to the train room to show James, train room, hang out, get some, uh, AC. It's just a little muggy out. Do you hear those? What is that? The slithering? Yeah. Definitely like a snake in those bushes. You heard that though, right? Yeah. This is the little Lars Lawn, I guess. We're waiting for our fireworks, James. Got his bottle, got his fan. Hey. He's ready to go. Yes. There. This is our last trip seeing this show. <laughs> Let's not talk about it right now. Woo! Oh, those are my favorites. It's one of the best. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Oh, the mile of the dream. Do you see it? That kid pulled a solid stone. Are you still thinking about that? Yeah. We didn't talk about it. I know, it was crazy. Yeah, nobody cared. It just went back in. I was like, going off and it's like the perfect moment. <laughs> okay. Oh look at it. It's just as high as the fireworks. <laughs> oh he is out. It's blurry but I don't care.
to the drain room. This is one of my favorite rooms in all planet Earth. And I always like to look at this painting because one, it's gorgeous. Two, I want to go to that place in real life. And three, I want to be that person. And four, do they have a mask on? It looks like as if they have a mask on, like a pandemic. Interesting. I definitely think it's just a beard, but it, for a hot second it looked like that. But... And I bet Sarah's like on that Christmas. That's like the Polar Express, red and green. Come on now. Fun fact about the Brookharts, and I think you know this. This is the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. We actually have a piece of the, this track. And wouldn't it be crazy if the track piece we had was literally the piece that connected right there? Because like it's the exact same track. This track is. This track. It was in Walt's backyard. There's Walt riding it. So like this, some section of this is what's in that case. And we have a small like two inch section of it as well. Wild. Chicago. If you know, you know. Okay. I've looked at this frame before, but never in great detail, I guess. And I really want to find a copy on the internet. So like. Obviously this is the train room. It's all about Walt and his trains and everything. Amazing, right? I've looked at this pin set, but never in great detail. It's a pin of the Magic Kingdom train station, right? But then each, there's a pin. There's a pin for each of the trains. Like the Lily Bell is a 1928 Baldwin. The Walter E. Disney is a 1925 Baldwin. The Roger E. Barogi, the number three engine, is a, is a 1925 Baldwin. And then the Royo, number four, is a 1916 Baldwin. And this is like, a, it says right there, limited edition, 500. So there's 499 more out there. I will search eBay. I know this is just a random walkway, but it's one of my favorite places on property. <laughs> I literally just said that. I know I said it's one of my favorite places in the whole world, that room. Like, yeah. This title of the vlog should just be literally Da da da. My favorite. Da da da. Disney World. <laughs> Welcome to our family time. Ball ball. Welcome to our happy to be time. I love this stinking resort. I want to stay club level, even though people hate on it. Do you want to know? Why I know this part of my mind that is just mentally a little deranged. Because I look at this. I look at this and I get so happy because this tells me that right there is the center. That's where a Christmas tree goes. And that either those three outlet covers or these three outlet covers, ooh, two, are used to bring Christmas of joy throughout this atrium. And that is freaking sweet. This is now known, kind of like the, the line of adventure at Typhoon Lagoon. This is the square of Christmas. Have we... Have we mentioned that we're doing a staycation while we're here? It's coming up, because we were supposed to leave, like, we we're supposed to be here two weeks. Now we're here four weeks, so this is supposed to be the grand finale. Yeah, so um, we're checking in the gonna be like ooh, surprise maybe I'll bleep you out ooh. I mean it's I mean we might have even mentioned it I don't even remember, we might I don't have. remember either. but we're all excited because we're talking about our days and our plans mm -hmm. and tomorrow's like we have to like clean up Katie and Brian's apartment tomorrow because yeah. they get back tomorrow night because that's what you do it's dark spooky it's good to be home we know what our goals are 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>